Hello and welcome. My name is Abby and this is uh, Cookies and Crochet. And um, I just wanted to um, make another video. Uh, I haven't done one in a while and let you know what I've been up to. And um, so this will have a lot of information actually because um, I've started some new things. So anyway, welcome back if you are a subscriber and you watch my videos regularly. Welcome back. Thank you. Big thank you to you guys. And if you're new, if you're just checking uh, my videos out or my channel, um, welcome to you too. And I hope you stick around. Um, so this channel, I basically, um, I do crochet. Um, I share patterns that I use. Um, I'm not a designer. They're not mine. Um, pa pattern books that I find that I like. Um, what yarn I use and what yarn I like. Um, I also do, I love to cook and bake, so I also do some of that. Actually, I just recently kind of moved that into my channel. Uh, when I first started this channel, that was my main, my main plan was, you know, baking and crochet because those are my two passions. Um, but just recently is when I've actually moved that in. Um, had to get my kitchen kind of <laughs> worked out so it's good for filming. Um, so anyway, still working on that, um, but I really want to um, share um, in my cooking and baking and, um, you know, I think it's fun. I think, you know, um, I'm not a chef, but I'm pretty experienced. With cooking and baking I've been doing it for quite a while and I also did some vegan I was vegan for a while um, so I had to learn a lot of um, new cooking and baking techniques um, to um, be able to be vegan so I am NOT vegan now but I still do some cooking and baking every now and then um, that is vegan <clears throat> so anyway got off on something else again sorry about that <laughs> but the newest thing that I wanted to share with you is that um, well 2020 I kind of started out I wanted to um, socks make socks crochet socks which I had never done before um, and I have done that um, with just two two basic crochet patterns um, that I have kind of worked out um, but I don't know if you know it or not. This is my <laughs> kind of my opinion. Um, and crochet socks are beautiful. They have their own um, uh, they have their own flair, their own you know all that. Um, but knit socks just really grab my attention. So when I started crocheting socks and I was looking through patterns and I was just not really finding stuff that I was impressed with, let's say. Some some are very beautiful. Some of the patterns, crochet patterns for socks are very beautiful and I do like them and I will use them. But the knit socks are just, I don't know. Can you call it a unicorn? I don't know, just something I was like, you know so anyway and I had never really had aspirations to knit or to learn to knit um, but until now so I did so I am now learning to knit and I learned to cast on just this last Sunday um, and I did it through a YouTube tutorial on how to cast on um, I learned the long tail cast on and I think just the regular cast on, I'm I'm learning all the terms. I don't know anything. I don't know anything about knitting. I don't know anything about needles. You know, the, the size of the needles. Um, I don't know anything, any of the terms. I don't know how to read patterns. I am learning. But let me tell you, I am so completely excited. I am. I am actually knitting um, a dishcloth. I just started Monday. Um, still not done. <laughs> and um, 
it's a, a tutorial tutorial here on YouTube and I will share it but um, it's actually I was supposed to use 4.5 millimeter needles for this dishcloth well I didn't have any I just ran to Michael's and bought like two circular needles that I was gonna try to use for socks so I didn't have the right size so I used the four point so it's actually not looking like a dishcloth it's actually looking more like a coaster but that's okay I finally <laughs> I had to order some needles online. They came yesterday, I think it was. Just the DPNs, the double point needles, which I didn't know what DPNs were either, but now I do. So those came in the mail yesterday. So I was actually able to use them. And when you, if, if you're a knitter, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. But um, so those circular needles I had bought were aluminum. The ones that I ordered that just came yesterday, the DPNs are um, bamboo, I believe. Um, from Knit Pro and they are beautiful and I love them but switching from aluminum to bamboo whole different feel plus the circular circular <laughs> needles kind of kind of hold the work for you if you have to put it down whereas circ um, the regular DPNs um, not so much so and it's a whole nother thing of how to hold your hands and but anyway I'm I'm, I'm saying all this to say I love it. I am so excited. I'm finally trying it, learning it, doing it. And um, I will share, um, you know, as I as I progress and the, and the things that I want to try. But my main goal is to learn knitting so that I can knit socks. That's my main goal. Yes, if you're wondering, do I plan on knitting other things? Absolutely. Shawls, um, I actually just ordered um, a cowl pattern. Um, from Ellie at Craft House Magic. She had a beautiful knit cowl pattern. So I ordered that it was like four dollars or something like that online but um, so I'm gonna try that when I get a little bit more experience, but I Am so excited and I will of course. I'm gonna keep crocheting. Don't don't think I'm letting crochet go I'm not um, but I really am motivated and really ex excited right now, so I'm just trying to practice Right now I'm just doing the main knit stitch um, and yarn over and I've learned to knit two together. That's it. I haven't even learned purling yet. So if you want to, uh, follow me on Instagram. I post um, more regularly on there um, of the stuff I'm working on. Um, so find me on Instagram at mycookiesandcrochet. Or um, you, I've also shared a little bit um, in our Facebook group. So if you want to join our Facebook group, it's under Cookies and Crochet. So it's a, it's a private crochet group. You can share your projects. You can ask questions. You can get to know other ladies and share, you know, what you're working on. So anyway, if you want to do either of those, please do so. You're welcome. So anyway, um, so I do want to show you the dishcloth that I'm working on. Um, and I also have two crochet socks that I wanted to talk about because um, I know my last video <laughs> kind of shared what I was doing with that um, crochet sock um, and I haven't made the, the mate to it yet. I'm going to um, but um, oh the other thing I wanted to show you <laughs> I jo joined or subscribed to my very first sock club through Catherine at Crafternoon Treats here on YouTube. I have never done that before in my life. Um, but over the holidays, she was offering the subscription either one month or three month for like 20% off or 10% off or 15% off. Anyway, really good deal on her sock month subscription. Um, and since my goal had been to make socks and I didn't have any sock yarn, I was like, well, I might as well grab it while it's on sale. So I did. So January's sock month subscription came and it is absolutely gorgeous of course so you get 200 gram hanks of the sock yarn which is um hers is i believe the coriadale polworth and nylon um but it's absolutely soft it's absolutely beautiful and the colors are just stunning so i already wound it up <clears throat> had to <laughs> it's 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 the kind of yarn that it's like, you know, as as fun to wind it up as it is to crochet or knit with. It is that nice. It is that nice. So anyway, and with it, um, 
she um, added a stitch marker. Um, of course, her, um, is it Puka or Puka tea? It's organic tea. Um, and then a card, and then something else came with it. Anyway, it's wonderful. And um, so much so that I subscribed for another month because I'm just like, wow. So, um, so I will share that as well. So anyway, um, why don't we just jump right into things? Okay, because I have so much to tell you, okay. Okay, so first I thought I would show you the knitting because I'm so super excited about this. Um, now, as I said, this is supposed to be a dishcloth, but because of the size of the needles, you were supposed to use 4.5, and I only had a 4.0, um, so, this is it. <laughs> it's, it, I think it's going to be more as like um, a coaster than a dishcloth. <laughs> it's a little bit small. Um, but I am going to make another one and use the correct needle this time. Um, but anyway, and I'm just using some 100% cotton. Um, I think it's peaches and cream or lilies and cream. Um, I don't have the label. Oh, sugar, sugar and cream, excuse me. I think that's what it is, um, but it's in one of the, so I just had this sitting in my stash, so I decided to use this. Um, but anyway, so this is my very first knit project. So excited. These are the uh, DPNs that I had ordered. I believe these are Knit Pro. Um, it came in a set. I ordered them from uh, Wool Warehouse. Um, it came really fast, like two days, but isn't that beautiful? Look at those, um, I believe it's bamboo, but look at the, the, isn't that gorgeous, those colors? Just amazing. But yeah, so these are the 4.0, so I really need to start another one, um, that is four and a half. Um, and then it will be the actual size of a dishcloth. But right now, yeah, I think this is going to be more like a coaster. But anyway. I'm, I'm, it's good practice. It's, it's a very repetitive, um, pattern. Um, and so, because I'm still learning, I'm just trying to get used to, um, how to hold the needles. Um, and I started out, I had, this was another good tip. I had posted on, uh, my, my Facebook page, um, that I was learning to knit and I have several friends on, um, Facebook that knit. And um, I had kind of shared a little uh, short, I don't know, 40 second video of me knitting. And one of my friends commented and she knits and she said, oh, you know, I see that you're doing the, um, the English style knitting. She's like, since you crochet and um, it might be easier if you try the continental um, way of knitting, it might be easier. She said, at least it was for me when I crocheted. And so I was like, okay, I, you lost me. I don't know the difference between English and continental knitting. I'm just trying to learn how to, you know. So anyway, I looked it up. <laughs> there are, there are two ways of knitting, continental and English. I was doing the English, which is basically as you're knitting, you take this hand to yarn over with the yarn with the continental, you hold the yarn in this hand while you're knitting and you wrap it around your needle with this hand, your left hand. Because whenever you're knitting, you always have the empty hook or the naked hook or whatever you call it on your right hand. Your, your work is always in your left hand. And with crocheting, I'm a right hander, so I always held the yarn with my left hand. So that's what I'm used to. And that's what my friend shared. She said, you know, I, I crocheted for how many years and then I learned to knit. She said it was just so much easier for her. So I was like, well, that makes sense. So, and I'm glad, I'm really glad she told me early on so I didn't learn, you know, like the English way and then try to switch over to the continental because, you know, that just hurts my brain. <laughs> uh, so anyway. If I, I really honestly didn't think my brain could hold anymore, but it is. It's amazing. It's still intact. But anyway, any, anyway, so I really like this way better. It's more comfortable because as I said, when I'm crocheting, I'm always holding the yarn in this hand with my pinky. I'm holding it. I'm, you know, 
I'm doing the work with my right hand. So this was a lot more comfortable this way for me and I think that made it easier. But she said it also helped with her tension and it also helped her speed. Um, so I was, I was grateful for that um, advice. So um, yes. <sighs> was there anything else I was gonna share about? This? Oh, the pattern. Uh, for this dishcloth. Um, it is on YouTube. It's a YouTube tutorial for beginners, absolute beginner knitters. It's under Knits and Bits. Um, and I will put a link in the down bar if you're interested. She um, She's actually the same girl, um, and I don't know her name because I don't think she shares it, but when I started crocheting, when I was trying to teach myself to crochet, um, I watched, she has I think three other tutorials on how to make um, crochet dish, dish cloths. And that's how I learned. She is very, very slow. She's very detailed. And it really helped me when I was trying to learn to crochet. So when I found that she had a tutorial on how to knit, I was like, ah. Um, but the problem is what she did. But anyway, so if you want to try this, highly recommend it. It's, it's very cute. It's very easy. And um, yeah. It'll give you a lot of confidence if you're, if you're, if you want to try to learn to knit. So I, I recommend that. Um, okay. So let's talk about socks. How about that? Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. So the last time we spoke, uh, since the last time we spoke, um, so I finished this sock and I don't know if you watched the video. It's called work, work zone ahead. I believe this was the sock that I had just done. And, oh, I wanted to share about the sock blockers too because um, I had shared them on my Instagram and um, I had a couple people ask, where did you get those sock blockers? I've been looking for them. So I thought I would share about that too. This is my, they're both medium because that's the size I wear, but these are the sock blockers I had ordered um, and they came in, I think last week, but they are beautiful, they're wood. Um, cause I, I, I love, you know, old fashioned vintage stuff. Um, but anyway, the very, very, very nice. I highly recommend them. You can get free engraving on them. Um, and she has all kinds of designs. This one came from handmade shoes and crafts. I believe it's a, she has an Etsy shop. Um, so I will put the link in the down bar if you're interested. Um, very reasonable. She's in the Ukraine though. So it does take a little bit of time to get your order um, I don't I can't remember if you can upgrade it you know so you get it faster um, but I just did the slow snail mail because I don't mind waiting <laughs> but anyway very reasonable very reasonable and very well done very well made um, and she's great to work with her name is Tanya um, and um, so anyway I, I recommend recommend that and so anyway this sock, I was a little frustrated with it um, for a couple different reasons, but I already talked about it. But I will say I've gotten over that. I'm better now. And it's all because of Catherine. Um, Crafternoon Treats. I watched a video she made, I believe, a year ago. So it's an older video, a podcast that she put out, and she was making crochet socks. And she made one similar to this pattern. And so she was talking about it and um, also shared a pattern book that she was using. And, you know, she basically touched on everything that was, that I was kind of frustrated with about crochet socks. You know, how it's kind of hard to get it to fit your foot right and, you know, to look right. And, you know, I think my problem was I was expecting them or, or wanted them to look like knit socks and they're just not going to. And that's what she said. She's like, knit socks are different from crochet socks. They're just, they're not the same. The stitches are different. Knit stitches are smaller. They're more stretchable. Crochet stitches are not that way. Um, so you kind of have to make crochet socks a different, a different way. Of course, it's very wise to make them, you know, according to your foot, you, you, um, she highly suggested measuring your foot because everybody's foot is a different size. Everybody's foot is different from everybody else's. Um, so even if you're going by the size that is in the pattern, doesn't necessarily mean it's going to fit your foot. 
So she recommends always measuring your foot, the length, the circumference, the width, um, to, to get that pattern to fit your foot as best as you can. So that was really good. But she said something hilarious and I was just like, thank you. You know what I'm thinking. She's, she, she held up her sock and she said, kind of does look like we have hobbit feet, doesn't it? And I was like, yes, thank you. It, it looks like we have hobbit feet. You see knit socks and they're just, oh, so beautiful, so elegant. Wow, amazing. And then you see crochet socks and they're like, do you have like hobbit feet? No, we don't. <laughs> That's how the sock looks. <laughs> so basically, if you're going to do crochet socks, the realization of it, they're not going to look like knit socks because they're not. I'm speaking to myself. Abby, are you listening? When you make crochet socks, Abby, they're not going to look like knit socks because they're not knit. Okay, we are over that now. So, after watching her video, I felt much better and I was looking at my sock in a whole new light and I was like, you know, that looks pretty darn good for a crochet sock. There are some things that I, I would like to change and it's my own fault when I did a different yarn for the heel and the toe, it is a smaller yarn or thinner um, than the main part of the sock. I use like a Patton's Croy sock yarn um, and this is something from Yarn Bee which it is for socks, but it's it's much thinner. So that's, I think, why that is the reason. It's not, I think. That is the reason it looks and turned out so different. So in the future, that's another lesson I've learned. When you're making a sock and you want to make a, you know, a contrasting heel and toe, use the same, um, use the same yarn. In a, you know, if you want to use a different color, fine, but use the same kind of yarn, the same weight, the same, um, you know, thickness, do that. So I'm making notes. Every time I make a sock, I'm looking at it and I'm like, okay, what do I not like about this? What can I do differently the next time? <laughs> Which is a good reason to, when you're practicing, to use just regular yarn, not the expensive fancy sock yarn. I know it's beautiful and it's wonderful and you want to touch it and use it, but wait until you feel you have a good handle on it and then, and then do it. <laughs> okay. This is all stuff I'm learning. So this is another sock I, I made. Now this is out of, um, this is out of very nice sock yarn because this is a different pattern. This is just the basic sock pattern. This is the side to side pattern. Um, it, they're out of the same book, but this was, um, this colorway is called Rosa. The main part is Rosa. Um, this is from Catherine, Catherine Crafternoon Treats, her hand dyed yarn. It's beautiful. So nice. Now, I use the heel and toe. Um, I chose these. These are, these came in a different pack, but they're the same kind of yarn as this heel and toe. Um, they're the yarn B, um, I can't even remember the name. But anyway, I'll I'll put it on the screen when I'm editing. <laughs> Yarn be something or other. But anyway, it's meant for socks. And you just get these little ball, um, they're the donuts, the small little donuts of yarn. Um, and they were in all different shades. And it came with like seven of them. So anyway, and it is nice yarn. And it is very, um, I believe it's about the same weight as the main part. So I think I was okay with this one. Um, what was the other thing I was going to say about this? Oh, this sock blocker. Um, now this was my very first set of sock blockers and I ordered this from Anna at Mylan Jedro. It's uh, she has an Etsy shop and she is in Poland. And um, I, these are little um, balls of yarn. I think it's just beautiful and you can get them in gray for free. Um, she she did an awesome job. These are very well made. I will, They have a little bit different um, hanger on um, than, than the ones 
from Tanya. Um, but both very nice ladies. They both did a great job. They were both very, um, they both did a great job at communicating with me since, you know, they're such far ways away. And, you know, when I would get my order, they kept in contact with me. They let me know. Um, and I believe she had free shipping on hers. Um, so I just paid for the sock blocker set, which was like $21, I believe, which is really good seeing as how these are real wood, very well made, um, very beautiful. Um, so I, you know, I will put the link to her shop as well down in the um, description box. So if you are interested, but um, check both of them out because they both have many different designs. Um, they have hearts, they have stars, they have flowers, they have sheep, they have animals. I mean, pretty much any design you want. Um, I just chose the sheep and the yarn because I thought it went well with, but I wanted a couple different sets. Um, so anyway, there you go. Oh, also I wanted to have a shout out time. Um, to my very good friend, Ellie, not Ellie, I'm sorry, Allie, <laughs> sorry, my friend Allie, um, she has a podcast on here, um, Miss Allie Makes, so go check her out, um, she is from Australia, and she and I, um, kind of, I'm not sure, oh, I think she, I met her in my Facebook group, um, and I, I finally went and checked her channel out, and she does, um, she crochets, but she also knits and sews and, um, we just hit it off right away. Um, and she is very good at the amigurumi. Um, and she loves to, um, she knits socks, which is absolutely cool because that's what I'm doing. Um, and, oh, she's, um, uh, making some, um, she's, well, she's made some baby blankets and little baby vests. For friends that are that are expecting and then um, she uh, works at a nursing facility which um, takes care of older people which is what I used to do um, and uh, makes um, like blankets lap blankets for them which I think is just so cool and um, of course when I worked at a facility I didn't crochet back then so I wish I had because I'm sure that they would have appreciated that but anyway, I just think that's so wonderful. So anyway, but um, she's on Instagram as well, and she has a group on Facebook uh, for her podcast. So if you're interested in any of that, go check her out. She is so fun, and um, she also does unboxings for different um, like yarn subscription boxes. Um, I think she does Crochet Society and um, Little Box of Crochet and something else but anyway go check her out you'll love her channel i do um hi Allie. anyway um <laughs> so um i just love meeting new people on here and getting to know them and um she actually has referred to referred me to several other um podcasters or um, Etsy shop owners and stuff um, that I've been starting to follow and learn more and so that's really exciting too so I'm really grateful for that so um, I think is that all I had to share I'm trying to think oh how are you guys doing <sighs> okay let's talk life real quick because I've talked about everything else let me get my cup of coffee and talk about life all right Let's see. Life is kind of busy right now. Um, my son's basketball season is in full swing. Um, he has a tournament this weekend and another one in February. Um, they've been doing pretty good this, this season so far. Um, they got new uniforms, which is really cool. Um, and then I have, of course, my middle child is in first grade and my youngest is still here at home. Um, so yeah, life is just kind of busy right now. Um, we're still trying to recover from the holidays. The whole month of Dece December was kind of a roller coaster ride of ups and downs, let's just say with family and, um, things going on with school and things at church and trying to keep up with, um, just everything. So, oh, I wanted to share my pillow too. 
Um, so anyway, how are you guys doing? <laughs> um, I tried to do because I've been using the one, but I have that soap, that handmade soap my friend gave me, so I want to use that too, so I need another bag, so I'm going to make another one. So, and I haven't made any more stitch markers. I want to though, I have all the stuff, I'm going to make more. I am, I am. Other than that, oh, we haven't gotten much snow. Um, it's been kind of mild this winter so far. Usually we get, it's pretty cold and usually snowy, but um, hasn't really, it's been pretty mild. Which I like the snow as long as there's not ice and it's not too much to where we can still get around, but I hope that doesn't mean it's gonna hit us really hard really, you know, all at once, <laughs> but it may. So anyway, I wanted to show you really quick because I forgot to show this in my last video, um, the pillow that I made for my son. So I'm gonna go grab that and I'll show that real quick. Okay, so for Christmas, um, I wanted to make my son that granny square pillow. Um, and this pattern, I believe it's from Pinterest. So it's just a basic granny square and you make a big one, a big granny square, just one. And then you put the pillow um, kind of in a, a, a diamond shape and then wrap the square around it, or the, you know, the granny square, and then you s just stitch up in an X in the back. That's all there is to it. It's so stinking easy. So this is the pillow I made for my son. Um, the afghan I made for him, um, I did it in red, white, and blue for the Cubs. He's a Chicago Cubs fan. So um, I used, this is the back, pretty pretty bright. <laughs> but um, I found this yarn. Um, it's a Premier Puzzle yarn. This is what I used for his pillow. Um, and it used the whole skein. And um, and then I had to add this bright, it's not bright red, it's just showing up bright, but um, it's just Red Heart uh, Cherry, I think. I just had it in my stash. But um, so yeah, pretty big pillow. I asked him what color he wanted, um, you know, cause I could do either red, um, white or blue, but he wanted the red. So it's really pretty. I really like um, how it looks, the design, but also the colors. Um, so he can use this on his bed with his afghan. So, and I didn't know I wanted to make something for my dad as well. And uh, so because these this pattern is so quick and so easy, I went ahead and made one for my dad. And because um, my dad, I have made him an afghan, but his is like multicolored. It's all different colors. So I asked him what color he wanted and he's like, oh, just, you know, whatever, just dark colors so I actually for that one and I will pop in a picture here for his pillow I use this um, loops and threads Barcelona and the colorway is mocha um, so it's kind of like a brown, it's got some teal, some white, some, it's really pretty. But anyway, that's what I used for his pillow. I got those both done in a week, I think. Um, just very simple, very easy, and um, they both enjoyed them very much. So, if and I'm making another one for my mom. That's going to be her <laughs> Christmas present in January. <laughs> So anyway, that is on the hook. So, search it on Pinterest. It's the classic granny square pillow. But honestly, you don't need a pattern, honestly. You just make a big granny square and then fit it around the pillow and stitch it up in an X. Very simple. So, I think that is all I had to share. And um, I hope you enjoy it. And um, I hope you have a great rest of your week. And um, like I said, if you're interested, join our Facebook group. Follow me on Instagram. Go check out Allie and her podcast, Miss Allie Makes. 
Um, you won't be disappointed. And I will see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your comments and your likes. And um, thank you for sharing. I'm just so happy to get to know all of you and um, so grateful um, for um, this whole new community that I'm, I've, I'm, I'm stepping into. So anyway, all right. Well, you have a great day. I will see you in the next video. God bless. Take care.